Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Kotats here, and welcome back to another live Team Tosh reaction. And damn, it's been a long time since I've done one of these yet again, hasn't it? It's mainly because of, like, anti-fall. Like, I mean, it's, I've said this for, like, a billionth time, but that makes it really, really hard for teams to put out videos, and it's very, very inconvenient to the community. So, I, I think that's the main reason why we, we've seen, like, maybe three Team Tosh's within, like, the last, like, six months or so. But anyhow, I'm glad to be watching a new Team Taj right now. Um, this is Revolution Auxiliary's uh, sixth Team Taj uh, entitled Sapphire. So we're finally seeing a new Team Taj from Revolution Auxiliary. Uh, I, I believe the last one was called Carpe Diem, and it was released like quite a long time ago. So I, I, I kind of like it too that it's been a while since I followed uh, Auxiliary because I have I, I kind of forget who's in uh, this team to be honest. Like I, I forget. I think, I, I, I'm not even going to make any guesses, because I really forget uh, who's in this team. He's not really pay attention to logos and that kind of stuff, so when I start this video, it's just going to be a complete surprise to me who's in this team, because I literally have no idea. So, with that being said, uh, let's watch this video in one, two, three, let's, hold on, uh, okay, I, I had to get my microphone, okay, one, two, three, let's go, all right. Man, they vamped up the intro, didn't they? Look at this. I like it. It's like the same as the old one, but they sort of just like redid some of the textures and models and stuff. I think that's what they did, right? Because remember the old one looked choppier, so... Uh, Revolution Auxiliary Presents. Alright. This is interesting music so far. A Team Taj Entitled. All right, Sapphire, cool name by the way. And this video looks really do well done right away. This is a good edit. Not sure who the editor is, but this looks very nice. Okay, so who's the first person here? Okay, so this is. Oh, I'm waiting for a name to pop up. Who is this? Okay, so it's Black. Oh yeah, Black Stunter. Black Stunter's in this team. So. He's gonna land the precision on top here from that bump. Very nice stunt. Not a reland. A very tiny precision right there. All right. So lucky link gets a bump off of here. And where is he gonna take this to? All right. So he's gonna do a landing on there. Ooh, that looked hard. He had to sort of just like get the corner there. Okay. So swipe here. I I think this this guy's new. I don't remember from last time. So, where's Swipe going to take this? Oh. Oh, all the way to this over here? Oh, oh, okay. I, that was pretty far, and he did a nice clean landing right there, too. That was good. Okay, so I believe Mark Tisham, right? Yeah, this guy. I, I know him. And he's going to... Oh, wall ride onto light, into a light uh, pull precision. I've never seen that done before. Okay. So, Star Killer right here. Wow, he got a super long glide off that. I'm pretty sure the tree helped him quite a bit there. And he gets into another bump. Man, he did like a full like 90 degree turn here, didn't he? And that's really far overall. And he just gets a perfect landing on top of this billboard. Nice job, dude. I like that spot. That's a really creative spot. Okay, who's this? This is uh, Tim and Absent Gaming. All right, so what motorcycle is that? I can't tell. Is that, is that a ruffian? I can't tell. Whatever method you use to do that, good job on that. I, I enjoyed that idea. It was nice. Okay, so Prizzy H. How do you say that? Oh, I, I've tried that bump before. <laughs> I have literally tried that bump before, but it didn't work. And he's going to get on top of this. Huh, that's not where I would have taken it. A uh, nice eye for that. Okay, so Siak. Never heard of this guy before. He must be new. All right. Ooh, so a tiny precision with Ruffian on top of one of these poles by the airport. Alright. Let's see what they have in store for us next. Who could this be? Okay, so he gets a bump off of here. I'm interested in where he'll take this. So, he's going to get the second bump on like this freeway like entrance right here. And he's going to continue to get farther... Oh, how far is he gonna take it? Oh, he's gonna take it all the way over here. See, I, I, that's not a real end. That's a nice spot. I've, I've never seen anyone do anything remotely like that. So thumbs up for me. 
Okay, Plasma. What's he gonna be doing here? Very high bump. Oh, oh damn. I, I wouldn't have thought that was a possible spot. I honestly would have thought that that first bump was too low in or, uh, to be able to do that. I, I That's not something I would have tried. Okay. So do you got a second part here? Part two of... Sapphire. That's right. Okay, so... I, I'm pretty sure it's one editor of this whole video. I guess I'll find out later. Okay, so Lucky Link again. Man, a lot of people I used to remember being in, like, RA aren't here anymore, but... Okay, so Lucky Link. Where is he gonna land? Oh, another precision on this tower. Alright. I, I believe the same guy who did it last time. He found a tower to do some cool precisions on. That's nice. Okay, so Extreme. Oh! I would have never thought of that spot. A creative. Uh, nice getting speed on that... A dirt ramp. Nice catch. Okay, so Tim, Jason, uh, drop with an ATV, I suppose. And Star Killer, okay, I have a skydive stunt. Not even seeing too many skydive stunts anymore. Alright, so he went through a pretty small gap right there. And we have Mama right here. Nice spot. You almost got, like, decked by that palm tree at the beginning, but you kind of, like, survived through it. Oh, I wonder where he's going to take this. So he's going to go on top of here. And then he's going to top it off by going on top of this uh, tower right here. Alright, pretty legit. I like it. Okay, so who's this? Oh, Prizzy H. Okay, I, I think it's just Prizzy, but I don't know why I keep saying Prizzy H. How far is he going to take this? Man. Okay, I see. Creative. Creative. I wouldn't have thought of taking that spot from the back, that's for sure. A, a lot of hills involved in that. Okay, so we have Tim Jason again. Whoa! Oh! 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 I forgot about that! Dang, maybe I would have tried a stunt like that if I would have remembered <laughs> I, the skate park was there by that building. I might need to try that one. That, maybe that's something I can do. Huh. A creative spot, though. Creative spot. Okay. Alright. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Alright. So stunters were Absent, Black, Extreme, Lucky Link, Momo, Mark, Plasma, Prizzy, Siak, uh, Starkilla, Swipe, uh, Tim Driesen. Okay, so that's the RA crew now. And the editor was uh, Anduhar. I think it's Andrewhar, but whatever. Um... So, Falling in Reverse, Broken, Heroic, Silence, Jaws, Think Too Much, Feel Too Little. I think I might have heard of one of those songs before, I forget which. One of them kind of seemed familiar. So, special thanks to Absolute Destiny, Lane, uh, Skill to Bender, and Woods Gaming. Thank you for watching. Thank you, RA, for putting out another video. I, I like this one. This is a well made video. Bravo. So, that's the end of the video, I guess. Alright, so, damn, I have to say, that was a really, really good video. I enjoyed it, just something style, the spots you guys used, and just overall, the presentation of the video was awesome. And also, I've decided on the MVP and the run-up for this video. I'm going to have the MVP be Mark Tisham, just because I really liked his stunts. And also, I'll have, have Mamo be the runner-up. But Lucky Link, you're really close, but Mamo is just slightly above. I had a really hard time choosing between you two. But anyways, let's go look at Mark and Mamo's stunts. Alright, so we're going to start off with a clip by Mark Tisham. This is easily my favorite stunt this entire video, not even a joke. Like, I mean, if this stunt wasn't the kind of stunt it would have been, I would have liked to see this as the... I, I, I'm holding my tongue here, but I, I was going to say that I would have liked to see this clip as, like, the finisher or the opener. But it's not good to have these kind of clips as the finisher or the opener. That, that The spot... Uh, the, those finishers and openers, like, they're better if they're, like, long glide stunts. So, I'm kind of glad at the same time this, this was, like, uh, sort of placed in the middle of the video. Even though it was the best stunt in the video, if that makes any sense at all. If you guys are, like, following my logic here. But, anyhow, yeah, the reason why I like this stunt so much, it was so creative. Getting into that wall ride with the Enduro in the first place, like, the weird sideways bump. That probably wasn't easy in the first place. And also, I love how he just barely landed on that light post afterwards. And he had to go from a sideways angle on that. Just, just imagine how hard that had to be. Like, this this would be a really hard stunt to reland. Like, even though the lampposts are positioned in a nice place, 
And I guess that's one of the only things that made this done a bit easier. Besides that, this really doesn't seem like an easy clip to me. And the spot is very creative, and it's not a wall that anybody has used for any purpose at all. So, just bravo, Mark Tisham. This is a really good stunt. Alright, so the first stunt by Momo here, I like this stunt for like uh, two reasons. First of all, if you guys know anything about the bump he went off of, like if, you try a, if you've ever tried a stun off of that little ramp he went off of, the grass one, you'll know that it's very hard to get height off of that. Like you can get distance pretty easily, but getting the height he, had, he did, that's kind of a challenge. You have to be going very, very fast to get that. And you also have to hit like the exact right part of the hill. So I like how he was able to do that first part right. And he was able to get that second bump, get a huge bump off of that. But he also nailed the second bump too, which allowed him to go all the way to Legion Square. Which previously, I mean, I, I will on honestly only think of spots like going all the way to there. Being like a little bit up to get higher bumps, right? But like Momo just did have these two really low bumps. And he managed to get himself all the way to Legion Square. And also he got a pretty clean landing on top of like that little pillar in Legion Square too. So definitely a very good stun and keep it up. Okay, so the second stun by Momo, it's a good stun, but I want to share a story first. Like, well, it's funny, just it's sort of similar to the last bump. I just kind of laughed at the same time I saw this stun because... I swear about a year ago, I was trying so many spots off of like the bump he went off of and I got nowhere near the distance he got. Like I don't even know how, maybe it had something to do with the rain or the texture or something, but that bump just wasn't working for me a year ago. And then I see Momo doing this insane stunt off of it and I'm like, how the hell did he do that? But anyways, just like getting into details about his stunt. Uh, he went off that bump and uh, he went to sort of like the Vespucci canals and he got a bump off of a house there. And he went all the way across into like sort of the Bay Area and he got a, another bump off of that sort of like roof that has like the thing that spikes up if like you guys know what I'm talking about. And he got a landing in the tower pretty cleanly so definitely a very good long distance stunt. It, it sort of reminds me of a stunt that like Frida did I think I think this was in the last RA team Taj but except this one probably took more skill because the first bump it was using is definitely much more difficult. So, definitely a very good stunt, Momo. Keep it up with like, the creativity of the spots. Because both of your stunts definitely had very unique and stylish spots. So, yeah, keep up the good work. Alright, so since now we're done talking about the stunts, let's talk a little bit about the edit. And just a little bit, little bit about the music. I'm going to keep this sort of like short and sweet, though, because I don't want this going off into like a 20-minute discussion because I don't exactly have time to do that tonight. So, we're just going to keep it like cool, short, and brief uh, this time around. So... Um, for the edit, I, I, I realized that it isn't the same person. I thought it was, like, Andrew Har, but it's apparently it's Andu Har. That's very confusing since it's, like, the exact same name and it's just, like, missing an R. Like, that's, like, that's about the most confusing thing I've ever seen because I confused him, uh, with Andrew Har from Evolve. So, it's Andu Har, a uh, revolution, uh, an editor for Revolution. Then there's Andrew Har, a pilot in Evolve. See, that that's, that's, like, I'm not even gonna think about how confusing that is. But anyways, Andu Har, you did a good job on your edit. Uh, it... I don't know, it wasn't like the longest video, but I enjoyed the 1080p 60fps, definitely. I don't think it was, that was the resolution on the last video, uh, so good job for having an upgrade there. Um, there wasn't like a lot of like standout things about your edit. I did like the motion tracking though, the motion tracking was uh, very like clean and concise, and I like the overall style of it. Um, the video had like a good color correction on it, I thought. It wasn't too noticeable, which is kind of what I liked about it. And it sort of made all the clips like look similar to each other, which I also enjoyed too. So you did a very good job on the edit, I thought. Like, I don't think you've edited any other uh, Revolution videos. Uh, I believe, I was looking down in the comments, and apparently you were supposed to edit the last uh, Revolution Stunning Team Taj, but you just didn't have time to. So I think this is the first edit of yours that I've watched. And I I've had a good first impression of your editing skills, man. Keep it up, you're doing a really good job. Haven't really heard of you until now, but now I'm, I guess I'll just be on the lookout for like other stuff you do. So <laughs> that's a good sign, I suppose. Just overall, just a good job on this video, though. I I'm not sure who made the music choices, assuming uh, it's the editor, uh, you, Anduhar. And if you were responsible for the music choices, also a uh, good job on that, because I did enjoy the music in this video as well. And for anything else I have to say, um, I don't really have a whole lot else to say. I'm going to give this video a 9.5 out of 10. 
or a 95 out of 100 because it was creative, the spots were good, I like the spots, the edit was good, uh, the video wasn't too long, it was the right length with the amount of stunters that were present in the video, and there aren't really like any problems in the video, and it really didn't impress me. Like, way more than the last uh, Revolution Auxiliary Team Tosh. So, for everybody in Revolution Auxiliary, keep it up. You guys are doing a good job. Whoa, I just knocked uh, my headphone out, but eh, I'm too lazy to put it back in. So, I think that's all I have to say for this video. So, uh, make sure to go check out uh, the original video in the description. It will be in there. Go show um, Revolution Auxiliary some love. Just, like, uh, leave a comment down below, like, what you thought of this video. What did you like? What didn't you like? Uh, do you have any complaints? Was there anything that was stand out for you, positive or negative? Just let me know in the comment section down below. And, uh, that's gonna be it for this video, I guess. So, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to drop a like on the video, because it does help a lot. And also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for daily GTA 5 content and more. And until next time, this is Gotetsu, your wonderful day or night, wherever you live. Please be safe, Gotetsu out. Go!